Hey guys, welcome to the start of the SC25 Manchester City Chrome. We start off every year with a team I support. The team is Sky Blue. The team managed by that man on the right, that beautiful bolt headed man, Pep Guardiola, the Spaniard who's created so much dominance with this team. We're going to take it over and try to continue doing the same that Pep Guardiola has done in real life, creating a juggernaut of a football team and a football machine here at the Etihad Stadium. Let's get into this Chrome mode and take, uh, take a deep, uh, deep dive into. The new Chrome in SC25. All right, so these are the settings we're going to go for for the first transfer. Well, for the first Chrome mode here, we're going to have the transfer window turned up because we need a backup striker in this team. And maybe some other players you guys are going to suggest down below in the comments. Get your comment down below. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. All hope getting there is greatly appreciated. And obviously, with SC25, there's a lot of content coming your way. And hopefully, you'll be on the journey for that one as well. Let's get into this one. That the scout I'm going to turn up because I just want to be able to see the players straight away. No sacking. Uh, financial take a, uh, take of a turned off, ultimate as usual, and then we're going to be in four minute horse, full potential for the youth tournaments and youth players. Uh, simulation, I'm going to try this out. Obviously, this is new for SC25, so I want to test it out for the first Chrome and see if it's worthwhile using in the future. If not, we'll turn it off in the future. Training, we're going to leave it as it is normally, I believe. I don't think I've changed anything here. And so the transfers, and we've left it on the default and loose and scouting turn off, as I mentioned. And general settings, as you can see, that is just what it is on Sterling. So pounds, uh, Great British pounds. And let's get into this one. Check out the team and, well, get into the career mode. All right, so as you can see, this is a setup we've got for the team. As you can see, we've got Savinia playing inside forward alongside Phil Foden on the right. And so we've got Haaland up front as a poacher. Uh, Bernardo Silva as a half winger. Same with Kevin De Bruyne. They've got plus plus in that role. So we're going to keep it on that. We've got uh, uh, Rodri as a holding midfielder. We've got Givardio and Rico Lewis playing the false back positions. Like they do IRO, a Kanji being a ball playing defender and uh, Ruben Dias being a stopper with a plus plus and Edison with a sweeper keeper plus plus as well. As you can see, we're going to play a counter attacking uh, counter attacking style, high press football, kind of like Man City play our role. We're going to play in this 4 3 3 formation, the holding formation. Gonna, uh, I'm going to edit this as we go, obviously, as I get used to the game, as I get used to how this um, team plays and how everything works and the roles work, etc. How the players work in those roles. We'll change it and um, set up as it is. But this is, got, this is what we're going to go with for our first game. I think we're just going to jump into our first game of the season and see how it goes. We've got a bunch more stuff to go through. So I'll cut to you with whatever's next. But it might be the first game of the Premier League season. All right, so I thought I'd take a quick look at our starting youth academy. So I guess a goalkeeper who's six foot one with decent potential, 16 years old. So he could get promoted to the first team and get sent out on the But obviously, we need him for the youth academy tournaments. We'll have a defender. Oh, another goalkeeper here. In Tibor Czech, the next pet Czech possibly here with a great potential 81 to 94 as a goalkeeper as well. Six foot two is a great player. We also have Noble here as the centre back, who's five foot six, who's gonna uh, not he's gonna grow in this height, hopefully. Only 14, so hopefully he can grow and become a much more physical centre back because obviously we need physicality in that role. We are still here with decent potential becoming a false back in the right back role. We have Flinch becoming a false back as well on the left hand side. We've got um, Venezuela. From I'm not too sure is that Bolivia the country I'm not too sure I might have a look in a second here but we've got him and with the Samara here being an inside forward and the target forward also we're going to play the um you've got to be told and possibly in the next episode I might save it for then because we can get more you've got to be players to send the scouts out let's get into our first game of the Premier League season and test out this team and see what SC25 is all about. All right, so before we get into our first game of this season, I decided to add a bunch of players to the transfer list in terms of the backup striker role players because some have got a bunch of options here from older players to some young talents to some players that are proving themselves to be great players. Like said, Jonathan David, who has got his contract expiring at uh, Lille, a Canadian striker, obviously a very, very good player. I could see him moving to a better team in the next transfer window next season or maybe in January, depending on his contract situation. Add a couple of five-star weak foot, a great player, can play poacher or false nine, as you can see there, and he's got a bunch of players as well. Quick step, relentless, and Traveller, the five foot nine Canadian, will cost us about 40 million, I imagine, in the transfer market. Got Oya Zabal, obviously, a player that can play out, out, uh, out wide or in the centre. A player that won the Euros with Spain. Obviously, a pretty good player, can play as a poacher, advanced forward, or winger. So, a bunch of good options for us there, and also the technical and Traveller play style. Obviously, a more experienced player will cost us a little bit less due to that from Sociedad, so he could be a great player for us. Yeah, Castellanos at uh, Lazio, the um, Argentinian striker, could replace Julian Alvarez in the team. As you can see, he's got a great, he uh, can play target forward at five foot ten. The 25-year-old Argentinian won't be a bad player as well. As you can see by his stats there, 
who also have Adam Lokman, who has seen cooked Leverkusen in the Europa League final for Atalanta. As you can see, he can play false nine, advance forward, and could probably, possibly do a job out of wide as well. As you can see, a great play with technical and first touch with the play style. It's a great player, pacey, great shooting, and a good dribbling as well. As you can see, four star, four star as well. So he's a great player and a great option for us. Possibly, we've got Noah Okafor, who was a legend in the Everton series and AC Milan series that we did towards the end of FC 24. Four star, four star, the Swiss striker who can play out wide or in the creative midfielder role. As you can see, as a whole finger inside forward or false nine with the uh, rapid uh, first touch and quick step play styles would be a very good, very, uh, very, very, uh, very, very good player for us. And would it be too expensive? Uh, we also have, I mean, Adley the young talent in Moroccan from Bayer Leverkusen has been doing great things for himself in that team as of recently, I believe, with some great stats, a uh, good play st uh, play, uh, play a role, so false start, advance forward and inside forward on the left-hand side of the team. Can play Cam as well, but he's got no play style, uh, position pluses in there. I can see by his play styles, he's got technical and flair and it will cost us about 30 million, I'd imagine, from Leverkusen. We also have the young talent from by, uh, Bayern Munich, Matthias Tell, the Frenchman who's the next big player for France, in my opinion. He's a very, very good young talent, a player to keep your eye on in the next few, well, the next few seasons, and especially this season as well, at Bayern Munich, and see him doing great things for them. He only has advanced balls and inside forward, as this role has been only 19, but as you can see, he's got great stats. He's got only one play style with finesse shot, but I feel like he's going to be a great player for us if he did sign him. We also then have Benjamin Seshko, a player a bit like Erling Holding, a more physical player, a taller player, can win headers. It's decent on the ball as well, and obviously it's going to be a very, very good area of flight. The most players are options for us with power shot, technical flair, acrobatic, and aerial. Some incredible stats to go along with it, and obviously with a post shot and advanced forward uh, roles, as you can see there. So we don't know which one of these strikers we should sign next episode to be the backup striker to Erling Haaland. And get in the comments down below as well. Other players you think we should sign for the team as backup players and maybe first team players that could take over and give some competition to the players we already have in this team. Okay, so before we get into our first game of the Premier League season, I thought we'd play the quarterfinal of the Youth Academy tournament here against Arsenal. We're going to edit our lineup here and play the best players. We're going to bring in... I think check in goal because he is the taller goalkeeper and has better potential. No ball. Do I want to have a centre back instead of two full backs? That could be better. As you can see, obviously, these players will be playing at their full potential. So it's something to keep in mind. I might take Finch out and bring in Noble, but I'm not too sure because he's only five foot six. And I might just leave it as it is for now with what we have here. We've got uh, Valenzuela as well um, in the midfield, as well as Samaris here as the striker. Let's get into this one and hopefully do well. And not get knocked out straight away in the first Youth Academy tournament of this series in SD25. This will be the first game, first bit of gameplay I played. Let's get into it and hopefully it will be fun. Obviously, this is Rush, the new thing in SD25. It's only five minute halves, well, five minute game. And we get to the ball first, uh, first away of Valenzuela. So we're playing on Ultimate. These players are at their um, highest potential that they do have. So we're going to have a quick, I guess overview of how they play in the future but we're giving the ball away early on here to Arsenal which is not great and button here coming forward see Rush is a different place I don't being 5v5 is interesting but we could have stole the ball there but they still have the ball Arsenal getting through here with Button play out wider to Jonathan and there's a great save there from checking goal for us and the rest of the players in this uh, tournament a ball through here great save again from Czech we've not had a single shot yet Arsenal playing quite well against us by the youth team, I should say. Ball in here to Finch. Finch gives it away, though. Might as well take him out for the next game because he's not been the greatest in the field. Ball here to the player. Get it forward here. Arsenal are cooking us in this game. They shoot here and check again. It's a great save. He is saving us right now, man. Our goalkeeper. We've done nothing in this game besides concede chances. But there is Samaris, the Greek striker, driving forward for us here. Samaris... Doesn't have any pace. Samaris going to get the shot away. Samaris hits it. Blocked by the defender. But it's going to go in anyway. We're going to take it. It's a very scrappy goal. But it doesn't matter. So it takes a deflection. Goes over the keeper. And it possibly could go down as an own goal. But we take the lead in the Euphoria. We're talking about you to see it. The better team. Oh, Steele again does well there. Steele gets it to Finch. Finch. Back there to Valenzuela. Back into Finch here. Finch could have hit it across the goal. He does so. But the keeper makes a good save. 
Need to get a challenge in there. That's great defending there from Steel. He seems like a pretty good player, Steel. He's been the standout in this team, in my opinion. Steel in here to Finch. Gonna get the shot away. Yes, he does, and it's 2 0. Steel, who, like I said, has been the standout player in this team, in my opinion. He looks great. He's a defender, but he's been all over the pitch, and it's 2 0 here for us in this tournament. We've been. We've ruined our luck a little bit in this one. I see Arsenal had a bunch of chances, but they didn't take them. And as of right now, where the team going to be going through? Unless we throw it away here later on in this game. But there's still again. Honestly, he looks great. Oh, but now getting forward. Feeds it through. Great pass there for him. Button. Hits it and he puts it over the bar. A minute left in this one here. Can we hold on to it? That is a question, Valenzuela. It's a finch. Oh, lovely bit of skill there from him. Is that, it's actually Steel, sorry, who's on the ball. That's a great bit. Of, that little, that bridge there from Steel was incredible. He's celebrating at the corner on his own after doing the bridge in between the defender there, getting, uh, beats him there, and it's 3 0 here to us. And the future looks bright here at Man City with players like Steel. And he steals the ball again here. Honestly, this guy is incredible. Valenzuela in here to Steel. Steel, why not? Hits it from range, and the keeper gets an easy save there. Valenzuela, Steele, why not again? Steele hits it, but he's got a challenge in there. That's going to be a corner for us. Got it. As they come forward here, Torbert hits it, plays it across, and a great save, definitely check again. He's made four or five incredible saves in this uh, tournament. He hits it again, but there's a save there from the keeper. Is there one more goal left in this game for us? Steele, Valenzuela, Steele now over the top. Valenzuela on the half volley, that's four. And like I said, the future looks bright here at the Etihad Stadium for the Youth Academy. A four goal, or four goals here on the half volley there from Valenzuela. Some great play with Verda look at times. As the Arsenal had chances, but I keep made some unreal saves. And that is all that matters at the end of the scoreline. And we're on the right side of it, winning 4 0 here and going through to the next stage of the Youth Academy tournament, which we'll play either later in this episode or the next one. Let's get into our first game of the Premier League season, but still deserves that 10 out of 10 because he was unbelievable. And well, as you can see on the right hand side, Fabrizio Romano knows the truth. He said, what a performance by Steel. Remember the name. And that is something that I like about SD24. The new social media tab, as you can see, with a bunch of stuff. Watkins has moved to Bayern Munich. Interesting there. And as you can see there, 50, uh, 58 million. They signed Watkins. Uh, Stroikens has joined Chelsea from Anderlecht. A great talent there going to them. And a bunch of other stuff here. And you see, we're going to loan out a few players. And yeah, some great signings being made. Vitex has gone to Spurs. There's a great signing for them. Let's get into our first game of the chance of the season. And uh, Luckman has gone to West Ham. That's a great signing for them. So maybe he is off the cards because we were looking at buying him. But maybe him moving to West Ham has put him off the transfer list for us. All right, so here we're the full first game here that I'm going to play in SU25. My first bit of actual gameplay other than Rush. We're going to play here against Man, City, against Man United, sorry, at Wembley Stadium in the community issue. As you can see, this is the team we're going to go into the game with as usual, with our bench looking pretty good as well. As you can see down here, McCatty is being converted into a cam, so we're going to take Oscar Bob who is for this one. Uh, Gundogan's gone down to an 86, so that's not great to see. He's already gone down. Simba, Kyle, Walker, I kind of wish, uh, maybe if I put it on slow for um, senior players, they actually drop down in ratings slower. That might be something I have to look at in the next crew. I did put it on normal. I believe, as you can see, the bench is looking pretty good. Again, so this one, let's check out the Man United team as well if I can do so here in a second. We're going, to, we're going straight into the game. Okay, we can't even check the um, full thing. As you can see, the, the full match intro are back in SS25. Something that shouldn't have been taken out of the game to begin with. Let's get the full experience here and just enjoy it being back in FC for the first time in a whole year. Obviously, that is a trophy we're looking to win, just like Man City did IRL. Phil Foden, who looks like he's going to, go, go, uh, going to be a great player for us. You can see there already in the ball that the weather effects is in play. It's a rainy day here, so the ball has got some drag on it, as you can see on the mat, which on the mat, on the uh, pitch, I kind of like. I kind of like that being a feature. I don't think it will possibly be a thing in Ultimate Team, but I like it being a thing in Chroma for a bit more realism and adds more dynam uh, dynamic gameplay, but Rashford blasts it wide here to start the game off. De Bruyne wins ahead of De Bruyne. Foden back here to De Bruyne. Gets around the guard. Back here to the Belgian. No. The Belgian in here to Foden. Foden now driving down the wing here. Foden. De Bruyne. Can we get one of his great passes here? I'm going to go to Rodri. Short actually. But Foden here. Foden. 
Can he wrap this here? Phil Foden wraps it and anon he gets an easy save. Savinho here, the better Brazilian winger driving forward. The rain has been a massive issue for us in this one. Savinho, Bernardo Silva in here to Erling Holland on the turn. And on makes a save, but it forced to Foden and Anon as someone makes a great double save there. I'm not sure how we didn't just score, but Anon have a great save there, denying Phil Foden, I believe it was. No, actually, it might be Rodri actually that he denied. A great save there from him, obviously. I know how to take corners. The top teams like United, like it should be. Savinia steals it off him, no. Gets it in here to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo with tech plus. Gets it down to Savinio. Savinio drives here, the Brazilian. Not Haaland really involved in this game so far, but Savinio oh, gives it away to Agate. It's a great way from him, no, the Uruguayan. And Hoyland now can try a break for United, but he's going to have to go back here to Bruno Fernandes, who loses that to Ruben Diaz. Savinio, great pass there from him. Savinio in here to Erling Haaland and Anana with a great save. And that pass there from Savinio was incredible. And Rashford trying to break here for United, but uh, Haaland should have just scored most likely. Good defending there from Rico Lewis. Keeps it in play as well. De Bruyne. Through here to, Ho uh, to Foden. Over the top. Looking for Erling. Haaland for 1-0. There we go. Just before the break. A Norwegian strikes to make it 1-0. Foden with the assist. A great bit of play. After the save for Manana early on. Or uh, a few minutes ago for the, uh, original, the first shot that he had. Great ball over the top there. Great touch there from Haaland. Sets it for the shot. And just pokes it. And flicks it. I guess you could say. On his other foot there into the side net. And no saving that for the United shot stopper. And it's 1-0 here just before the break. Oh, Bruno Fernandes straight from kickoff here. If they score straight from kickoff, then I know it's going to be a similar year to FC24. But if they don't, that's going to be a great thing for me. But ball through here to Hoyland is offside. Thankfully for us. Over the top, Haaland can't get there and neither could Foden. You got to slip, so I like that in the game. I like that for the rain that the players slip when they go for a pass or a shot. That's nice to see. Rodri, Foden, Kevin De Bruyne. Lovely play here from him, the Belgian. Erling Haaland. Savinho. Savinho turns. Savinho now back into the box spot by Dallo. Bruno. Pings it through, but that should be Edison's. There we go. Bernardo Silva. Plays it out wide to Savinio. Savinio goes inside Savinio now. Oh, he's going to play that over the top. 75th minute of the game here. Gets it forward here to Hosselu. The experienced Spaniard. Good defending there, though, from Akanji. And Bernardo Silva. Can get it back here, Bernardo. Rodri, Rico Lewis. So Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne now through. Phil Foden caught though. Holland picks it up. You know, Bernardo Silva, why not? Bernardo Silva, less said about the effort, the better. Let's make a change or two. Let's take off Bernardo Silva, bring on Ukai Gundogan. And Jeremy Doku for Foden, who is tired. And maybe even Grealish down the left for Savinho for some fresh legs. Keeps holding the ball here instead of... Uh, oh, Rashford actually gets off him in the end. There's Rico Lewis stepping in. De Bruyne, a lovely pass here into Holland. Holland Couldn't really go anywhere with that one. De Bruyne, the back up wide here to Jeremy Doku. was off the bench. Doku. Back here to Holland. Holland. Javadi Oh, but Dallas there. Now United have a chance on the break. And pretty good defensively so far. There's Javadi stepping in. Grealish. Game is almost over, surely. We've almost won a community shield with a 1 0 win over United. The game should be over. There we go. It's a 1 0 win in the first final of the season. Obviously, only it's only a curtain raise of the community shield. It's a glorified friendly, I guess you could say, where it means a lot to the players and the team that win it. And that is us at the end of the day. Harlow with a goal before Hassan makes it 1 0. That's the only goal of the game. We played great. I liked the simulation gameplay. I think I'm going to keep it on that for now. I kind of liked how it played. Especially with the weather effects being on the pitch as well, with it being rainy, the players slipping, the ball being slow and moving about, and players finding it hard to control the ball and dribble with it. I kind of liked that gameplay, it felt great, it felt more realistic, which is what I want. But De Bruyne here, Lister Community Shield, and you look to see it. Let's get into what our next game possibly 
in the Premier League. Okay, so here were the first game of the Premier League season up against Chelsea away from home at Stamford Bridge. So this one was a win for Man City IRO. Let's check out their team with the opponent analysis. They're going to go with Jackson up front, Enzo in midfield, the captain of the team, Cole Palmer, Neto, Lavia, Casado, Gusto, Hifana, Colwell, and Kukure. Obviously, we know how that went IRO. And uh, Sanchez in goal with a great, uh, great bench as well. Matter where Jewsbury Hall, uh, Tosin, Dizazi, Jao Felix, Sancho, and then Kunku all on the bench. Some great players there. Let's get into this one away at Stamford Bridge. Going to keep the team the same as we did last game. Obviously, Kanji's a little bit tired, so I might bring in John Stones for this one, or Nathan Ake. So he's not the tallest uh, defender, but he's a great defender nonetheless. And I might bring him in for this one. We're going to do so. Nathan Ake can play this game in the centre-back role. And I think the team's going to stay the same other than that. And we're going to bring it on the likes of Oscar Bob, maybe. Do we play Kyle Walker? I kind of did like playing Rico Lewis, so we'll, we'll play Kyle Walker in the future somewhere down the line, but it seems going to stay the same. And uh, Savinia's a little bit tired, so maybe we'll play Doku as a similar player, but we need to edit his, um, his tactic. Actually, you can play as an SR4, so I actually kind of do like that. Let's, let's keep it as that and get into this game up against Chelsea and hopefully beat them here to get off to a winning start in the Premier League. In here to when Kunku's actually starting. It wasn't a bench on the um, pre-selected thing, but Nathan Ake, former Chelsea player, good defender from him there, early skate in a way there. Another silver here to Jeremy Doku. Doku in there to Haaland. Haaland gives the ball away, but Casado can't get it. And Haaland gives it away again. Call Palmer out. I'm not going to hit this one here. Going to go short here. Foden gives it to Kevin De Bruyne. One up. Shavella from Kevin De Bruyne. Easy save though for Robert Sanchez in goal. See no rain on the pitch, so the ball is moving about as it should do. Kevin De Bruyne. Do you feel Foden? Foden. Court no. Chelsea putting on the high press here. Nicholas Jackson trying to beat Ruben Diaz. Couldn't do so. So he plays it out wide to Jadon Sancho. Sancho thought about wrapping it there, but he plays it to Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer goes through. We can't let him shoot. So he'll most likely score, but ball over to Jackson. Ake goes to the block. Chelsea passing around, and that's good defending there in the end. Not, not too sure why neither of them pulled the trigger in the end, but De Bruyne. And try to bring it away here. Kevin De Bruyne now. Good, uh, good work there from him, the former Chelsea player. Can he feed it through to Haaland? Haaland. Haaland now. Can he get the shot away? Early Haaland hits it. Deflected though. And into the path of Robert Sanchez. There's Nathan Ake. They looked up from him. we we'll give the ball away again. We're struggling to keep hold of the ball here. And string together some passing play. Good defender from Ake again. It's before half time. Can we get another goal here like we did against United? Can we break the deadlock here with Doku? It makes a good run there. Beats through Shames. Doku now making for Erling Holland on the header, but he somehow didn't actually go for that one. He just kind of jumped up but didn't go for the ball. Tracked in midfield. Gets it into Doku. Doku. Lovely skill there from him, but there's Kaiseda covering. I feel like we definitely maybe need going to win in midfield for this game. Bernardo Silva's not really been doing much for us, but there's Ake. Positive with good defensively, but we're not really doing anything going forward in this one, which is an issue. But De Bruyne feeds it through to Haaland here. Only takes one chance to win a game. Haaland to break the deadlock, but Sanchez, great save. The Englishman charging back here, trying to catch up with the United Loney at Chelsea. I think it's Loney anyway. And Kunku, good defending there from Rico Lewis. And now De Bruyne can try to find someone here. De Bruyne, can we get that over the top looking for Haaland? Haaland, can he beat? No, he can't. Okay, I'm going to say, can he beat the defender there? But he couldn't do so. Good still there. Lovely play. Rodri looking for Haaland. Haaland takes it down. Haaland across goal. Denied. Doku. Rebound attempt denied again. It's actually got in. That's crooked in. The Spaniard couldn't stop the Belgian from scoring. It's 1 0 here in the 75th minute. It's been a hard game. The bench celebrating that. We're going to bring on the likes of Gundogan in the second. And you see Haaland strike there, saved by Sanchez. But it falls to Doku, who hits it. And Sanchez makes a meal of it, as you can see here. He should be saving this every other week, the uh, Spanish shot stopper. But he doesn't do so somehow. And it's one no here to see. And you know to see it. Let's make a few changes. To see how the game. We're going to bring on Gundogan, as I mentioned, for Bernardo Silva. We're also going to bring, I don't know, maybe bring on John Stones at the centre-back role. Instead of Rubin who was tired, so with that hat and bring on Kyle Walker as well. Felix somehow beats 
Grealish in midfield there. Jackson. Oh, no. Jackson as well. But there's Ruben Diaz. That's actually John Stone. Sorry, not Ruben Diaz. I forgot we took him off. You know, I just did that. But Rodri. Oh, looking for Oscar Bob there, but couldn't find him. Sancho. Jar Felix. It's going to be a free kick, but he's still on the ball here. The Portuguese versus our player. And it's great defending from Kyle Walker off the bench. Got that from him. I see he's gone down a minus one already, but gives the ball away to Jackson. I should have just cleared it there. Jackson. To Sancho. Sancho. Ake in there. Look at that from him. And now Kyle Walker can hopefully hold up play here and get it clear. Sancho. Enzo now. 90 plus one here. This should be the end of the game here. It should be a 1 0 win. Just like the United game, but Chelsea, last chance of the game here. And there's great defending from Stones anyway. It's a 1 0 win at Stamford Bridge. We struggled to score, but we did so in the end with a, uh, with a shot from Docker. Obviously, Holland could have scored twice with some great saves from the Spaniard. Denied him, but in the end, an error from the Spaniard gave us a win in a hard fought game. I like the gameplay so far. I'm liking the way the team plays. Chelsea didn't get a single shot. They struggled to really do anything getting forward. We were very good defensively in this one. I like the defending so far of this team. It's just an attack. I feel like we're struggling to create some big chances every now and again. But obviously, when I get used to this game more and figure out the ways to break down the AI, that's, that's what I need to do. I need to figure out the ways to break down the AI because right now I'm playing FC24 style of football, but I need to be playing SC25 style of football, basically. But let's get, get into the menu Talk about potential signings and do the outro because that's going to call it for this one here. All right, so that's going to call it for episode one of the SC25 Man City crew. And if you want to enjoy, drop a like and video, subscribe to the channel to help reach 1,000 subscribers. All help getting there is greatly appreciated. Obviously, the first episode of SC25. That's been a fun one. I like the game so far. The gameplay feels pretty good on simulation. I'm going to try all of them in our future chromas and other gamers and stuff that I'm going to try stuff out in. I'm going to record the first episode of the Ultimate Team RTG here in a few minutes or so. That will be streamed on Twitch as well in the near future. So drop to, go to the uh, description down below and drop a follow over on the Twitch. We're going, to, we're going to be getting back into streaming over there for SC25 for Ultimate Team, Rush, Pro Clubs, etc. Hopefully in the future, some stuff coming that, uh, that way. As you can see, we couldn't sit 7th in the league after the first game with one goal to our name and zero conceded, which is great. And obviously, the team is looking pretty good. We need to sign a backup striker. Obviously, I gave you guys a bunch of suggestions here on the shortlist, but you, you guys can also leave your own suggestions down below. You can think there's a player that's not on this shortlist that we think we should sign. And also, other players you think possibly we should sign for this team. And that's going to call it for this one. Go to enjoy it. As I mentioned, drop a like in the video. That also that greatly helps out the video in the algorithm, etc. Drop in a description to the channel as well. Helps me out massively because almost at a thousand subscribers will all help get in there. Like I keep saying, is greatly appreciated. Comment down below which players you think we should sign and what you thought of the first episode. Now, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.